G'day everybody, it's me again. I've got something interesting here. It's a uh, Linatrol uh, HL9 um, uh, profile cutter. Uh, twin head. Um, I've uh, managed to nurse it into the fact where I've put new bulbs in the uh, I put new bulbs in the uh, scanning head, which is basically just a couple of lights which uh, shine on the, the surface of the table. And then apparently you can just use like a sheet of paper even. Now, I do actually manage to get it to say it's on pattern, which means it should be tracing the edge. I'll try that now, start. Oh, gauge the drives. See, it is actually following the pattern for a little bit, but then it falls off and stops. And uh, it's not turning corners or anything. Got to figure out, it doesn't do angles either. If I put it on an angle, you know, get it to trace, it just. Well, it's kind of trying to, but anyway. If anybody's got any information for me on this, um, uh, what kind of patterns you're supposed to use, etc., 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 it'd be great to hear. Um, I've kind of got it bodged up a bit here at the moment. It's only running on about 105 volts. Um, only uses two amps, so don't worry about that. I'm going to get a proper step, tran step down transformer this afternoon. Uh, it really doesn't draw any power at all. This thing, I can't even think it would draw two amp even when it was fully, uh, fully running. But uh, as far as I can tell, like I said, it grabs the pattern every now and then and tries to follow it, but then it falls off. I don't know if I've lost calibration on the head because I've, I've played with it or what. Maybe one of you guys out there knows more about these. Maybe you've even used one or you've worked one for a living. I know Ed did a lot of manufacturing. Maybe he knows about it. But uh, so far I've cleaned out the mirror in the uh, in the head. And I've uh, replaced the bulbs. And I uh, just have to see how I go from there. Anyway. Little locks. So you can freewheel or drive with the motor, same with that one there, you can unlock it with a freewheel, or you can drive with the motor like that, when it's like that it's kind of locked in, this is your controls for your oxy torches, now what it does is you actually light these, so you're on heating mode, you know, no no cutting oxygen, and then uh, you can actually tell it when to start the cutting oxygen, now I think when it's on automatic what would happen was, was you'd get the machine to hit the pattern, Yeah, it doesn't pick the pattern up, but like I said, I'm not entirely sure myself how these are meant to work. See, it's kind of trying to do its job, but not quite properly. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's the brand, by the way. Koiki Sanso Kogyo Co. Limited, Japan. <laughs> oh, 115 volts. 2 amps. Mm, I'll get to the bottom of this. I will. I'll fix it. I've also got its brother over here. But I can't get that scanning head to lock on at all. The uh, mirror inside is uh, not very reflective anymore. So this one's a spare parts unit now. It doesn't even... Uh, it's uh, one of the... Something in the electronics is bad because it won't drive the uh, X motor, only the Y. So that one I'm going to forget about. That one's just going back to auction or spare parts, but this one here I would like to get working. Not for me, it's for the old man. It's another one of his projects. It's good that it's actually picking up the pattern. Ah, it's light. Maybe it's got something to do with the light too. I'll get a couple of new bulbs and I'll see how I go. Thanks for watching.